All right, team, welcome back to another video. Hope you are well. We are back with a very, very popular topic. You might remember a few years ago, I did a video on how to tape your wrists and your fingers as a goalkeeper. We had a lot of response to that video. It is still very, very popular. And we had a lot of people asking even more questions. So I thought I'd be back with a new and improved goalkeeper taping video. So today I'm going to be talking through some tapes that you can use, how you can use them, and hopefully it will give you a little bit of value. So if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's jump straight in. Now, the eagle-eyed viewers among you will have noticed this parcel in front of me. And one reason why today's video is new and improved with your goalkeeper taping is because we've got the pros involved. I've been sent this package by the guys at Sport Tape who are the geniuses, the gurus about everything to do with tape. And these are the guys that are gonna help us show you how to tape your wrists, how to tape your fingers, how to look after yourself as a goalkeeper with tape. So they've sent us this box, which we're gonna crack open right now. So I've been speaking with the guys at Sport Tape for a couple of months. And what we've done together is we've put together a goalkeeper specific bundle of tape. You can see it over on their website. Just click on the bundles, click on football and select goalkeeper. And we have put together everything that you can need as a goalkeeper when it comes to tape. And as we open up the box, you can see what that includes. We've got tape for the wrists, tape for the fingers, tape for your socks, stretchy tape, tough tape, waterproof tape, everything that you could possibly need to make sure that your hands are in good order and also a little bit for your socks and shin pads as well. So I'm gonna go through each of these tapes one at a time, tell you what they're used for, tell you how to use them so that you can look after those hands and concentrate on keeping the ball out of the net. Now the first tape that we're gonna talk about is the tape that I use for training, for matches, and that is the zinc oxide tape. For those of you that might remember the last video, I did say that I try to avoid tape where possible. After making that video, I probably had about five wrist sprains in the space of a month. And I relied very heavily on this stuff to make sure that my wrists were secure in training and to give my body time to recover from the injury. Now in the goalkeeper bundle, you get two sizes of zinc oxide tape. Slightly bigger size, five centimeters by 10 meters. This one's for your wrists. And then a slightly smaller size, two sets of 1.25 centimeters by 10 meters. And this one is for your fingers. And I'm gonna show you how to use them. So when you get them out of the box, you're gonna have a little bit of plastic on them. You just wanna rip that off nice and easy in order to get at the tape itself. I'm gonna tape up this wrist so you can see how I would use it. So nice fresh roll. Very, very satisfying. You're gonna find the end. Open it up a little bit, just like this. And what I would do is I'm gonna whack this straight on. Some people don't like to do that. I will show you an alternative if you don't. But the way that I would do it is I get my wrist here, I'd add the tape onto the back, and I just have a nice, tight couple of rolls around my wrist, like that. Tear it off with my teeth and stick it on directly, nice and secure. I'd take the smaller roll for my fingers, do the exact same thing, take off the packaging. Now this set gives you two smaller rolls, as you can see. I would take one of these, find the end, unpeel a little bit, just like that. Now, I'd take the finger that I wanted to tape, I'm gonna use this finger right here, and I would just apply it underneath the knuckle, as you can see and slowly begin to wrap around. Now, what I would do is I will cross over the inside of the knuckle and I would leave the outside bare. That means that I'm able to bend the finger. So if I cross over the inside of the knuckle there, maybe a couple more wraps around, and then recross over on the inside like this and rip it off. What that gives me, as you can see, is full coverage on this inside, but if I turn it around, I've got a gap on the knuckle there, which means I can bend that finger properly if I'm looking to punch the ball, but I've got full security if it's bending back. It gives me security around the knuckle without inhibiting the movement of the hand, which I find really important when I'm goalkeeping. You can do that on all of the fingers. You can do it on the thumb as well for the inside of the knuckle. And that's the way that I've found the best support for my fingers. Now, as I say, the zinc oxide is my personal favorite. It's what I use if I need tape. It uses waterproof adhesive, so it's not gonna fall off if you start sweating or if you're playing in the wet. 
It's extra sticky and supportive, very, very rigid. It's the best way to protect your wrist from being bent back. There's no give in the tape, which gives you that security. Also with the fingers, we all know the feeling of the ball hitting on the end of the fingers and jarring down the middle. I found that this rigid, non-stretch tape has been really helpful in those situations, be it recovering or preventing that from happening to your fingers. It's very, very easy to unwind the tape off the roll. And as you saw before, it's hand tearable. You can use your teeth, you can rip it with your hands. You don't need scissors in order to use it. So it's easy to apply yourself. And finally, it uses porous glue, which allows your skin to breathe and you're not gonna lose any of the adhesion. So as I say, my personal favorite tape and definitely my go-to. Now the next tape option in the goalkeeper bundle from Sport Tape is what you're gonna use if you don't want the tape to stick directly to your wrists. I know a lot of people get some irritation from the adhesive or they don't like pulling it off if it takes the hairs off their arms. So these are what you'd use if you don't wanna use the white zinc oxide tape. So first of all, we've got the under wrap. Now this comes in a roll which is seven centimeters by 27 meters. So you get a lot of this tape in this roll. It's very, very light as you will see when I take it out. Just look how thin that tape is. You can see right through it. Now this is to go underneath the tape that you're gonna use. So it's to protect your arms, protect your hairs, protect your skin if you want to prevent any irritation from the adhesive. It's also latex free. So if you've got a latex allergy, it's a good thing to put underneath the tape. Very stretchy, very movable, water repellent, easy to tear with your hands. You don't need scissors. So we're just gonna apply this to the wrist nice and easy. And as we get a lot of rolls of this, I'm just gonna chuck on a little bit of further down the wrist, back up, and I'm also gonna go around the hand with this one too. This will look a little bit messy to begin with, but we'll tidy that up when we add the other tape. So under wraps on, self-adhesive, so it sticks to itself. This is what you're gonna use before you apply the next tape. Now you can use the white zinc oxide on top of this if you want a little bit more protection and support. But right now I'm gonna take this one, which is the tear EAB tape. Now you might have seen other goalkeepers wear this. I know Jack Butland's a fan, for example, and you'll see others with this type of tape. Now this is extremely stretchy tape. It is not as rigid as the white zinc oxide tape. So it probably gives you moderate support, but it's a lot easier to manipulate around the wrist, around the hand. Again, easy to tear yourself. You don't need scissors, but also extra sticky so it doesn't fall off with sweat or with water on the pitch. It's a nice sound. Anyway, you take this roll. We're gonna apply this directly onto the wrist here. And we're gonna wrap nice and tight all the way around. And I'm also gonna come around the hand as well. If you want a little bit more support for the thumb, this is a good alternative. Self-adhesive, there we go. Easy to rip, easy to apply. I probably took that down a little bit just away from the fingers, but that gives you a nice cover around the wrist and also a little bit of back support on the thumb too. Now this is how I would apply the tape. Over on the Sport Tape website, you have loads of guides and tutorials and videos showing you how to apply these different tapes for different areas of the body. But this is how I would apply these tapes as a goalkeeper to protect my wrists and to protect my fingers. Obviously then if I wanted to add more for the fingers, I could use the white zinc oxide tape with the same technique as before, just to add a bit more support for the fingers. But this combination of the tear EAB and the under wrap is a good alternative if you want moderate support for the wrists without the full restriction of the white zinc oxide tape. And the final tapes in the goalkeeping bundle are sock tape and sock wraps. Now, sock wraps, these are perfect, especially if you're the type of goalkeeper that cuts their match day socks. It's not something that I do, but we know if you cut your matchday socks and they slide up a little bit and you've got your grip socks underneath, you need something to bridge the gap. And you're gonna want something that is the same color as your matchday socks. And thankfully, there are plenty of colors to choose from. The tape, just like the Tear EAB, is self-adhesive. It sticks to itself, which means if you want to, you can reuse it. So once you take it off, look after it, fold it up, you can use it again. It's gonna lock your shin pads in place. And once you've tightened it, it's not gonna loosen. Again, hand tearable, you're not gonna need scissors, water resistant, sweat proof, but cheap, reusable, and definitely a must have if you cut your matchday socks. And then finally, the hero of football tape, the one that we all know and love, plastic sock tape. We all know how to use this, whether it's securing your shin pads or tightening up your socks. It comes in loads of different colors so that you can match it with your match kit, which is important so that the referees don't pull you up. It's hand tearable, easy to use, easy to take off the roll, there's no glue residue. So the combination of the two, will have you set for your socks and your shin pads as well. 
So thank you to the guys at Sport Tape for working with me to put together this goalkeeper taping bundle. As you guys know, on this channel, I only work with companies that I trust myself in my matches and in my games, because that way I know that this stuff works and it's gonna help you guys out. I've been wearing tape from Sport Tape for well over two years and it's been brilliant for me. And with this bundle, you get everything that you see here. Your wrist tape, your finger tape, your sock tape, your different tape variations, everything that you could need to get the security and protection for your training and games. The Goalkeeper Bundle is only $14.99 and you can get an extra saving on top of that by using the discount code O'Keefe as a little bit of a gift from me to you guys for supporting me and the channel. So if you need tape, don't look any further than Sport Tape and use that discount code O'Keefe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I will do my best to answer them, but thank you for watching the video. Please give it a like if it brought you some value. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, look after yourselves, keep chasing improvement as always, and I'll speak to you in a bit.